Hey, just a quick tour around. First, my studio. These are two big paintings that uh, I don't know if I'll ever finish because they're old already. They might have to be transformed into new paintings. Here's a new painting that I started somewhat recently. Very bright, colorful, fun, early on in the process. This one here is a painting I did which in which I have a bunch of these, but in which they have the background is like referencing an abstract painter. And this one here is Stanley Whitney. So I like it, but I don't really like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the background. It's gonna stay the same, like the rectangles, but there's they're not gonna be flat colors anymore. They're gonna be lots of brushy, uh, violent, not violent, but active, kinetic kind of brush strokes in, in variations of color in each of the different rectangles. This one up here is um, kind of not old, but not of the brand new ones. This is of the brand new ones down here. And this is the background kinetic type of um, brush strokey stuff in the background that I was talking about. This one is one of those abstract paintings in the background, but it's not based on another abstract painter. It's really based on just me throwing an abstract painting down before I painted the drawn image, which is really my thing. So I threw my own just, and you know what? I had a lot of fun with it. I had a lot of fun making that abstract painting, you know, even though it's not really what I do. It was meant to be just a background to paint over, but all the same, it was a lot of fun and I like it. Um, this little guy down here is a lot of fun too. This is another painting that I did based on an artist, um, like the Stanley Whitney one, but this one is based on Mary Heilman. Uh, I don't know if it's a very good Mary Heilman or whether I even came close to making the background look like a Mary Heilman, but there is my image imposed on it. And I really like the image and the painting inside, which is of that kinetic type brushy business stuff going on. Um, I need to finish this with a strong outline, but it's going to be, it's going to be solid and straight lined, really making the shape, enclosing the shape without, you know, brushiness going either out or into the shape but they're going to be different colors and I'm not gonna mess with the background. The background solid is good and I like it on this one. This one, I just kind of really departed from what I normally do and I was influenced by Julie Meritu. I think I'm saying that right. And see how there's all the different perspectives and kind of things like flying out at you from the center. So that's my Julie Meretu painting. Of course, it's not anywhere really near Julie Meretu, but you know what I mean. If you, you can, somebody, you all could probably see the little connection and the reference. Uh, down here is a painting, which is one of a triptych. It is almost finished. I messed it up. You can see right there. It's got a little scratch with the blue paint, but I wasn't really finished anyway, but now I have to go do that color blend again, which is very nice. This is a very clean, kind of tight painting with color blends, not of the loose kinetic type brushstroke stuff. I really like this painting. This one is another one where I did just one of my own abstract paintings in the background, sort of like the one earlier, um, just some lines and a little color blend and some, you know, yellow that, you know, I don't know if it's gestural, not really gestural because I kind of cleaned it up. But anyway, and there's that shape, it's sort of like a tiki painting. I am going to do what I said I was going to do in the Whitney painting. I'm going to fill all that background business with kinetic brush strokey painting because that's really what I'm about right now. And this one here is a painting for a friend. He specifically requested that I paint those uh, NSTC colors, you know, that come on the TV screen. Uh, used to come on, he he works in that world of television or video or what have you. And he asked if he could, if I could do a background like that. I said, sure. And I may go into that and do the kinetic background, but the, the inside is definitely going to be kinetic. It's rather small um, within the frame of the painting. Um, 
I kind of like that. All right, we're moving on out of the studio. Get in my house. My house is a mess. Not a mess, but it's a, yeah, it's a mess. Not mess, but it's a broken down old house, which needs mad repairs. This is a painting and I love the drawing of it. I love the painting of it, but the background has driven me insane. Uh, it was first white and then the white all turned yellow. So, hey, I said, I'm gonna paint it freaking yellow. This kind of offish yellow. And you see there's, there's sun coming in. And then I painted that yellow and it stayed wet for like three months. So I hate that painting. I'm gonna paint it over someday. This little guy here is much earlier. You see it's not, you know, it's, it's kind of sort of like the last one I just did. This is a very cute painting, lovely. Love the drawing. I gotta fix up the, it has to be kind of perfect. So there are some lines in it that are not, the outlines are not perfect. So I gotta go and do those. This is a painting I did in 1998, acrylic. Uh, this is one I gave to my mom and she hung in her living room and she's since gone. So this has very strong sentimental value for me. These two are just bizarre kind of, kind of, I don't know, how do I explain? They're, they weren't like really planned. They they just happened. This is super kinetic all over with the brush strokes, little, little figures. You know, this guy's good. This guy's interesting. And then there's one that kind of blends into the background. Eh, I, I got some work to do on that. And this one is like a space scape, if you will. We got three different aliens uh, kind of chilling on this like um, floating uh, mass of, of some type of earth. Uh, this one needs a lot of work too. So these are not so thrilling. This one here is kind of thrilling. I really like this one. Um, this is also one of my just original abstract paintings in the background. Like I said, I don't really do like gestural or uh, shape abstract paintings. Like that's just not what I do. But I did, like I said, for the background. And I think it turned out really awesome. Um, not done. Still got a lot of work to do. I just made some adjustments on it, like down in the right here. See, I have certain layers, not layers, but just concentric colors going from the outside in. Like there's that kind of turquoise, light turquoise, then it goes to Prussian blue, and then to a medium Prussian blue, and then a lightest Prussian blue, so on and so forth. The the the, the drawing shape, I love how that's painted with the greens and the pink. And then inside, I did the kinetic type of uh, brush strokey purple, and I think it worked out amazing. Going into my music studio room, this is one of the ones that are sort of like um, the ones in the hallway there. The, the ones with multiple shapes. And I don't know if, if I'll ever finish this or what have you, but, um, you know, I'm, I, I can always take it kinetic. You know what I mean? In other words, just like kind of melt all those things into the background of paint brush strokes and color and just see if I can make everything balance. Let me turn a light on here. And now this one was another one of um, generic... I, won't, I, I don't mean that in a bad way, of abstract painting background, a, you know, like, I don't make these kind of paintings, so I call them generic because they're just like things that I think of or thought of for a background. And um, I don't know, was this Hans Hoffman-esque? I, I don't know. But anyway, it's just a bunch of rectangles and they, they go in in different colors and then I paint the orange face over it and I like it. It's pretty good. It's not amazing. I like what I'm doing better now with the, with the backgrounds and not doing this. But like I said, some of them work better than others. Uh, this is an old painting also from that time in 1998. This is my pentagram. There's all kinds of like demons and it's all, you know, Symmet I won't say whatever five different directions symmetrical is, is what it is. This is a one that I started in probably 2017. Eh, kind of funky little, little drawing, different purples. Um, background is like beams and a cloud. Very nice. This one I also was made around that time. Call this one goggles. Nice. Uh, I'm, I didn't get to uh, the uh, symmetrical kind of drawing stuff yet. This one is alien, you know, just straight, really block. One, two, three, four, five, six colors. Very graphic. Uh, I like this one, but it's not finished. It is it is what it is. All right, here we go. Coming back out. Oh, my house is is, uh, is uh, messed up, so, you know, this is the way I live. And uh, here is uh, the poster. 
by the wonderful, great artist, Marina Capos. And uh, I have that hanging proudly on my wall. I bought it at auction. Um, this is another one that I really love. This one really works. Alien Legs, I think I call this. And this has got kinetic all over. I just say that for lack of better uh, term. Um, the drawing obviously is not kinetic. It's a very nice smooth blend from the green to yellow. And then that background is really what's happening. I love it. And then the there's like a shape also drawn underneath and that has the kinetic, so it's purple. And then in the gaps, I painted these weird kind of army green colors. And then down here, it's like this orangey color. Um, but anyway, all together, I think this painting works really well. Let me go back. Oh, there goes a light in my face. This is a uh, blue. There's my gas stove, log stove. Um, anyway, blue. I don't want to get, I can't really see it very well, but this one is a very, it's got like a black shadow. As you can see, a drop shadow. Uh, so, you know, that makes it different. It's got the kinetic type painting on the inside. Gestural, uh, abstract brushwork contained within my drawings is basically how to explain it. And then here goes Alien Brain, which I love again. This is another one that I'm very happy with. Um, you got that green drawing underneath, and then you got the orange drawing on top, and it's enclosed in the blue and light blue with a funky kind of earthy background, uh, call it again, kinetic brushstrokey background. Loving that one. Now this one is the bomb and it's not stretched as you can see. This one I did in 1998 along with the one from my mom and the pentagram. Uh, really the only time I really worked in acrylic and um, this is a portal. It's a window. You can go through that thing if you're feeling right, okay? And um, I just, I don't understand why this thing worked so well. It's octagon, obviously. I was painting shapes. The one my mom, the one that was at my mom's, um, obviously rectangle. This one's octagon. And then there was pentagram. So I was going through shapes because I was like, all right, I got all this gestural abstract stuff that I did, you know, coming out of art school. And um, and like, what do I do with it? And that, this was my first answer. And that was, I conformed it into shapes, geometric shapes. So here's octagon. This octagon, the, the color is just, I don't understand how green, turquoise and brown, like just work so well together, but they really do. I love this painting. I will keep it forever. Um, here goes another one that is sort of intermediate. It's called uh, bug, I believe, or, or head or something. Anyway, very nice, smooth um, blends of color. Um, sort of around the time when I did the goggles painting, smooth, slightly blended, um, you know, uh, transitioned background, but mostly just a dark green. All right. Uh, my house is a wreck, you know. There's one uh, purple, purple face. I don't know what to call it. And it's got a nice uh, aura kind of around it and um, so on and so forth. And here is um, another one. This is called Alien Head. And I was doing the generic abstract backgrounds. So this one was a like I poured paint on the canvas and then I dragged a two by four across it like Jack Witten. Everybody says, you know, Gerhard Richter, but no, Jack Witten did it before Gerhard Richter. So anyway, not that it matters, but that's who I was referencing. That's why I use a two by four because Jack Witten used a two by four. Richter used like uh, plastic drop cloths. All right, well, that's where I'm going to end it. Um, thanks for coming along and I hung all this stuff up because I'm about to have a, um, you know, fun experience and, uh, I want these paintings around so I can, uh, enjoy them. Thank you. Yes. It seems very like, uh, egotistical to be hanging all your paintings in your house like this, but, um, I haven't sold them. So I wish they could be in someone else's house. All right. Word. Peace.